Hello my lovely Capricorn and welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome, welcome to this channel. Now we are going to do May 2023 reading for money, manifestation, finances, business, career and all the beautiful things you want and need in your life. Now Capricorns, keep in mind this is general reading for someone in rising of Capricorn. So if that's something that doesn't resonate, use your intuition Check your sun, moon and rising and pop in those videos and see what kind of message is out there. Because something that it doesn't resonate with you might be for someone else. That's okay. And that's okay. So, righty. I want to see what kind of energies we have around you right now. Don't be strangers. Subscribe, like and comment. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What a month, guys. What a month is going to be. Southern Wealth. And a gift. Oh my goodness, look at this. I know, I, you would think I'm making this up, but I'm telling you, this is going to be one of the make or break month. For sure. Why? Because we have Pluto goes into retrograde in Capricorn sign. Your sign, guys. Till October. Yes, indeed. And then Pluto is, no, not Pluto, sorry. Uranus is coming out of, of retrograde, which is going to bring a lot of change and a lot of, uh, some radical change as well and of course we have the full moon in Scorpio lunar eclipse on 5th of May which is definitely going to bring a lot of changes and it's going to bring an interesting very interesting potential right what we have here is southern wells we have the gift and unexpected income I have to say right away from here is for some of you guys it feels like you're going to find a, a gift a niche Something was under your nose you might not even be aware of. There could be some of your talents, your qualities, maybe your skills that you were not discovering, okay? And it feels like you are going to use that to get some extra income. And that feels like you are maybe planning to that, do that, maybe some sort of side hustle as well. But it feels as well, maybe at work, you are saying, okay, hold on a second, I used to do this and I have this experience, even though in different genre or different uh, industry, maybe. But it's something that you have right in your hands, right in your hands. OK, it's kind of like a God given gift to you, which is going to bring you some real interesting uh, moments with money, opportunities and so. So don't look too far away. What you need is right in your hands. The opportunity. Maybe you don't need to look for a new job. Use the same place. Use this. Just use it. Use the opportunities that are out there. Maybe you're not something not seeing it. Okay. Right. Let's dive in. What do we have? What do we have for you, Capricorn? The sun, the garden, and the dog. Wow. Mm. Very beautiful. This is something that you're going to do long term. It's not short term thing. Not a short term. It's kind of like long term plan. Maybe even starting YouTube. Maybe starting some sort of education to level up. It feels like you're going to be using a lot of internal skills, transferable skills and nurture them. And it's going to be some journey. However, when we have the sun here, guys, you are in the right time, right place. No question about that. Okay. Because the sun is really shining on you. This is kind of like luck. Southern Wells lucky moment is coming. You are in the right place, right time. Doesn't matter where you are right now. Things are going to change. Things are going to improve. Like the card and blossoming. But there's always work around that. Always work around that. Now, while we have mid-month, we have Jupiter is in Taurus. Right, and it's look. Jupiter is a, is a planet of expansion, big dreams, big um, big picture planning, and all the stuff. And Taurus is like, hold on a second, let's let's pull this down and let's be realistic. But what Taurus is about is money and wealth. So with combined with conjunction in Jupiter, it's going to be some expansion of monies, money, money, money expanding. Yes, indeed, opportunities expanding, indeed. What well, I'm surprised to see this card, however, I'm not right now. Uh, it's interesting because there could be some opportunities you didn't see that was there. The universe was giving you some sort of opportunity take this, take this, and you didn't see it. And that's why I felt like there was something under your right nose, something that you didn't kind of maybe overlooked. Okay, 
Now, when you see High Priestess in money reading, this is an interesting one. I feel like maybe you are using your own skills. Maybe you are teaching what you know you might be teaching someone, making workshops, making even at work, maybe you are becoming from, uh, you're doing one thing, but maybe you're going to be teach someone. And that's kind of a new opening for you. And you're going to enjoy that. And as well, this is using like your grandma's recipe for apple pie or whatever. Even sell, selling vintage clothes. This is something going tradition, not looking to for forward in the future but this is using something good forgotten old in your business you know um uh, but either this is um ideology or this is some sort of things maybe taking old things and turning it to new here we go you don't really need to look too far away this is right under your nose use it not abuse it but use it and run with it right seven of swords i feel guys there is uh, Okay, okay. You have a doubt about. You are not entirely sure. Mm, is this gonna work? Is this really? And I'm seeing why as well because when you see lovers, Gemini, but when in money reading, when you see lovers, it's really kind of like okay, I can do this. I really like this, but do I want to do this every single day? This is maybe your passion. This is maybe some sort of hobby, and you kind of questioning questioning if this is something i really want to do for uh as a full-time job maybe and it's a good question absolutely right let's dive in what else we have now i need to get chuckled mm. okay Okay, what I'm feeling here and seeing here is we have King of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords and Emperor. Right. When I see Hermit, Hermit is someone who is need to be pushed a bit. It's Virgo, right? But not in money readings, it's a little bit different. So what I'm seeing here is you are a little bit concerned how you're going to look like. You feel like maybe you are not qualified enough. Maybe you are not um done experience and so and so and you feel like you need to upgrade your knowledge maybe you need to up polish up your social image or some sort of other image this is a card that is saying urging take action now don't focus on things that are keeping you back and procrastinating hence king of wands it feels like and, and two together with emperor i feel there's some fire sign coming in saying come on capricorn just get up and just start doing something don't hold on to what you know for too long because that opportunity will go and when it's gone it's gone there's someone who is really in a very uh is going to invest in you in a, in a ways of time uh, effort knowledge even okay a lot of knowledge here i can see here and just keeping good books have faith if you don't have faith in yourself but you seem like okay these people or this person really trust what i'm about to do and you feel like, oh, I want to really delay myself. Trust that you're going to succeed. Don't second doubt yourself. Don't second doubt yourself. Because that could be the reason why things fall apart. Okay? Right. Let's have a look. If this resonates, don't be a stranger. Subscribe, like and comment as well. All right. Let's go in. Guys, you, I, I just, I just gotta say, <laughs> the star again, I think the May is the most starred month ever. I've never seen stars this much in any readings as this month. Seriously. If it, and I know it's collectively, Pluto is affecting a lot of collective um, energies, a lot of people, big, huge. Um, it feels like you have something very spectacular you are embarking on something very spectacular and it's your time to shine you're going to be reaching a very good point you're going to be reaching either this is the, discovering that you can do things overcoming fears okay and really stepping up because the star is saying you are the star you are the, just touching it you can smell it you can see it you're going to be in limelight as well this is a card of 
either being famous, becoming a, you know, being maybe a notice board somewhere. They say, you know, someone's been promoted. It's kind of like you are stepping up like on a podium. You've been put up on a podium as like, look at this person. Look how they're doing so well. And it's like, oh, did you see the, the like, candle? And, and the Capricorn, this is going to be like, yeah, maybe you sometimes are shy from that. You know, you want to shy away. Don't. Really don't. Because this is your time to shine. Shine. Look, rewards. Wow, wow, wow. And here we go. We just could continue and continue and continue. You know? On a straight way. Uh, and it's easier said than done. Sometimes when you are really low and down, one might feel that what's the point, what, how to get out of here. But you have a lot of support around you. A lot of, I feel like a lot of feminine even support, a lot of independent, strong people around you. You have very good people around you there. You have the counterpart, emperor and empress. And the sun, again. The sun again. You're in the right time. It's going to be like so much happiness, so much joy brought upon your money. It's brought upon your manifestation. It's a perfect time to manifest things that you want. It's a mother card. You could be maybe becoming a leader, manager, maybe running your own business. Because these cards here are talking about running a uh, business from kitchen desk or table, what we call a cottage business, right? But what you sow, you're going to reap. This is a long-term success is coming your ways. It's just like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I'm really, I'm really happy for you guys. I really hope you see that as well, that you see that more positive than negative into this new opening. Right. What we have? Lovers. It's interesting. We have the lovers again. It's a question about, are you going to love this? Eight of Wands, Travel, Three of Swords, and Justice, and Three of Pentacles. Ah. Wow, this card is the one of the luckiest and similar as a star. One of the luckiest cards that we have. Okay. Okay, what I'm seeing here is why are we having three swords and justice together with the, work, um, with the Libra is if you sign any contracts, if you are researching, if you're doing your due diligence, uh, please do it proper. Don't use this halfway. Don't do 50-50s. Okay? And don't cut corners in there. You will be making some decisions, but you will be really need to be important that you are doing properly. Otherwise, you could be uh, cutting yourself a bit short. Yeah. And it feels as well that don't be shy and asking even for more money because they will be accepting it. What I'm seeing here is You're going to turn something that you love into a um, fast-paced thing. You're going to make it really easy. Either you're going to teach someone something, uh, either um, communications. It's something... Well, I'm see I see this, the arrows, you know, the typical arrow. This is like arrows are going fast. You're going to turn this so easy. For a lot of people, what you do, it feels like, I don't know, rocket science. But for you, you just do it so quick. You are talented. You are very talented on particular this area. Don't knock yourself. Do not talk down on yourself. Now, Wheel of Fortune. Again, we have the travel card, the travel card. Not trouble, but travel. It feels like you are definitely in the right place, right place, right time. It's a good, 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 good omen. And if there was any kind of economical situation that was not going for you, it's going to turn. There's some sort of um, changes happening either in legislation or or in, in circumstances, it's all changing for you. What a month, guys. I told you. I told you it's going to be crazy busy months and beautiful and very successful as well. All right, let's have a look at the timing. Capricorn. It's up to you. And here we go. Back to the basics. you got to believe in yourself. Communicate clearly. I'm feeling like that communication that you have with yourself No. You're going to say no. And don't say yes to everything. Take action. That's why we had the hermit there. 
the situation will improve and you are ready it will come time so don't force things if you miss something because you didn't have the chance to look at the contracts whatever don't rush into things and say no if they are rushing you do not be pushed into something when situation is right you will know you will feel it in your bones wow what a month all right my lovelies i'm sending you love and light subscribe like and comment as well and i'll see you guys there in the next reading Ta-da!